Hi boys and girls, Darwin and I are gonna show you a great game for practicing your addition and subtraction facts, okay? This game is called Sum War, which we know, but it's the piggy bank version where we keep a running total of how many more we've scored than our opponent. All you need to play this game is a deck of cards. I would take out the jacks, kings, queens, and aces. But if you're finding the guard card game is a little bit hard, you can take out um, everything above five and just play with two, three, four, five. And then if that's getting easier, you can add in six, seven, and, and so on until you have the numbers up to ten. You'll see why once we start playing. Anyways, let's start. So we have divided up our cards equally into two piles, and we have a little T-chart. We started playing earlier, so we have, so far, I have eight points, and Darwin has 11. All right, so let's pull off our top two cards. Eight and six. And what does eight and what's the sum of eight and six? Fourteen. How do you know? Come a little closer, Cause buddy. You add the two to eight, it equals ten, and then you add the four to ten, equals fourteen. So he's making a ten first because he went eight add two makes ten and then he had four more left over from the six and then he added that on that's a great strategy for addition and a lot of friends are doing that at school you can also count on from the one with more and track with your fingers whatever you're more comfortable with i have eight and three and similarly i'm going to go eight add the two from the three to get to ten then add one more to get to eleven so who got more, Dar? Me! So you had 14, I had 11. How many more points is 14 than 11? Six. 11 and 14? Three. Oh, I saw you went 11, 12, 13, 14. So he counted up and he added up to see what the difference was. So Darwin got three points. So you have 11. What is 11 add 3, Dar? 11 add 3. 14. All right. So he counted on for that. But you can also think about 1 add 3 is 4. So 11 add 3 would be 14. All right. Let's pick off our top two cards. I got a 2. And a 10. 10 and 2, I know my 10 plus facts, or anything off a decade fact. 10 and 2 makes 12. And this equals 7. Can you just tell us what you got? 2 plus 5 equals 7. Okay, so you have 7 and I have 12. Who has more? Uh, you. Okay, so now I have to figure out what 12 take away 7 is. By counting back, I might go 12, 11, 10, 9, eight, seven, and figure out that's a difference of five. five. Or I might count up. You have seven, I have 12. So I go seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and know that seven plus five is 12 to figure out the difference. So I could think subtraction or addition here. I got five points, I had eight. I am going to break apart my five into two and three, so this is 10 first. Eight and two makes 10, add <laughs> three is 13. All right, let's slip over two, Dar. Ooh, I got eight and five. I know five and five three, makes, four. I know five and five makes 10. So five and five plus I have my three more is 13. Or I could go eight and two, Makes 10 plus 3 more is 13 if I break apart my 5 instead. What have you got, Dar? I've got 4 and 3, which equals 5. 4 and 3 equals 7. 4 and 3 So you have 7. I have 13. Who gets the points? You. So we know you have 13 and I have 7. So I need to think to myself, okay, 7, take a... 13 take away 7, or I could go 7 plus something is the same as 13. Well, if I have 7, I can count up 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and know that I added 6. Or I could count back from the 13 to see what gets me to 7. Or I could take away the 7. 
Okay, so seven, I have a difference of six. So I had 13 and I'm adding six. I know three and six makes nine. So 13 and six makes 19. Okay, let's flip over two more, Dar. Okay. I have eight and six. Eight and six makes 14, because eight and two, if I add two from the six to the eight, is 12. And then I have four more, so 10 and four makes 14. So I make a 10 first, or I can count on and go eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, once I've added my six. Go ahead, Dar, what did you get? Seven plus two, seven plus two equals nine. Mm -hmm. How did you know? Because 8 plus 2 equals 10. Ah, you used a near fact that you knew, kind of like a near double, but you used a near 10. Cool, Dar. All right. So now we flip over two more cards. Wait, how much more points do you get? Oh, sorry. I didn't do mine. Okay, so I have seven and five. I know that five and five makes 10. So I've added only five of the seven. I have two left to add. So five and seven makes 12. What have you got, Dara? You've got nine. I have 12. Who has more? And you have three more, I think. I have three more. How did you know that 12 was three more than nine? I just guessed. Did you? Okay, so let's check it. Literally, I guess. Okay, let's check it now. So you think it's three more, so let's count on from nine. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh, it is three more. I added three. So you have 14. We want to add three, Dar. What's that make? Uh, don't you have more? Oh, yeah. I want to add three to mine. So 19 plus three. 19 plus three. I can count up from it's 19. 20. And I could go 19, 20, 21, 22. I guess again. Thanks, Dar. I keep on 